I'm back with another mukbang, truck bang challenge. Come get you some. I'm back with another video. Boom! Hey yo, we got some fried fish today with some shrimp, some shrimp under there somewhere, with some fries and some baby cakes. Some baby cakes like the mini hash browns that you get at McDonald's. But this ain't McDonald's. You know what it is. It's Michael's Deli. Yeah! It was a choice between Captain D's Michael's Deli. I wanted some fried pollock, which is quite delicious by the way, I must say. But I chose good customer service over bad customer service. So we went to Michael's Deli. Because ain't no telling what's going to happen. And I don't care about no free meals. I just wanted my fish. We also got some ketchup. And we got that world famous, or uh, my house famous, renowned Michael's Deli tartar sauce. That's what really made the decision. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Bussin. But uh, guess who back? Bizak. With another thing on their back. I don't know. I mean, that went terribly wrong. Coldest water bottle. Coldest water bottle back. Link in the description. Use Gilmore's discount code. You save 10% off your entire purchase. Coldest water bottle. Go get you one. We finna say grace. And we finna get it in. When I wipe this sweat off my face, I've been rushing. Because Faith called and she said, come get her. I didn't expect that, so I'm finna go get her. They rush. I told her I leave in 25 minutes. We finna see how long this gonna take. Cause I'm just gonna leave this here and I'm finna go get it. Come get you some. I don't know if I said it or not. I don't know. Hey man, and hey man again. Let's get it. Let's open this up. Got some ketchup. They got. Uh, they used to have um, crinkle fry. They ain't got crinkle fry no more. I don't know how I feel about that. At least they ain't having zesty fry. And people, I promise y'all. I promise. I said I wanted green beans and french fries. And uh. It is like two dinners and uh baby cakes, a double order baby cake. I promise I was trying to eat some vegetables, I really was. But you know. Stuff happens. Man, it's hot. This fresh. Oh Lord, I forgot the thumbnail. <laughs> thumbnail. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's good. You can't tell I ate some of the fries. Hold on. That dog it. Yeah. 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 That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, if, if, if there's a Michael's Deli employee out there, thank you for it. Oh, whatever. And you know the recipe to this tartar sauce? Please let me know. This go down at the KFC. See the recipe. When they knew how to cook chicken. Baby cake. Huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If you know the secret recipe, holla at your boy, man. I make it worth your while. I told that girl, good lord. Oh, that's what it is. Fanny number, the air conditioning on. I told that girl, I pay extra. She still didn't let me pay extra. She gave me four of them. I ain't even giving away extra. I told her, I just don't want like a cocktail, so I'm gonna do that. How y'all doing today, Kimpo? Is everything copacetic? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, that's real good. What the blue hick? It scared the daylights out of me, I ain't lying. We're about to have 14, 14, 5, 10 folk. Come on, Jimmy. Why you don't celebrate your milestone? What milestone? I might go live. I'm behind. I'll tell you what. And I can't, I can't remember if Michael's Daily Coast Law was good. I don't think it was. Cause she was like, I don't eat the coast law. So I won't get it. Cause I asked him. Anyway. I'm gonna throw this in here. I'm a 14 and a half now. Tell you what. <laughs> if I reach 20,000 kinfolk <laughs> by the end of this year, I give away for those eligible, uh, I give away two $100 cash apps. How about that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, man. So if I get 20,000 kipo by the end of this year, that's two $100 cash apps. At $200, I give them $100 to one person and $100 to another person. How about that? You got a long way to go, Kim, folks. Keeping it real with you.
This chick's this fish so soft. And I like it. Yes, I like it. Just the way it is. Ooh, it's so good. Give me some cold hush puppies. Look at that. I don't know what they want to eat, but I have already eaten. Try that place in there. Speaking the shrimp. At the job, they had a low country boy. It was a convention. It was a convention. And they had a buffet with low country boy, prime rib, everything. And had some leftover in the little country boat back. Said we could have some one or something. I was like, okay. But I ain't smelled no low country. But I so tasted the boy. You hear me? And car uh, carrots. They had corn, potatoes, shrimp. Sausage. I'm crazy about corn now. I'm crazy about it. Man, I bit in that stuff. I say, uh, they got the ball right, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing about this say low country. Ain't no season in there. You can't taste nothing. You can't even see the seasoning. The low country boy had a little specks of pepper in it, like from the crab boy or, or the other type of boy, seafood boys using. Nothing. The corn was straight yellow. The shrimp looked like they just took a bath and got out of the water. The potatoes, hmm, they was white potatoes. White. Not a speck of season on none. I said, they got the boil right though. They just put this stuff in some hot water and took it out. I promise you. Ain't no season in there. Hey people, put some Cajun seasonings or some, uh, what you call that stuff? Obey in your boils. Don't stress the boil.
stress the seasonings. Good Lord. And I'm cool with the chef. So if you see this, boy, you, you need to stop. I don't know who I'm talking about. I should have put some seasoning in that water. I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm hurt. I'm hurt by that. Because they bought that all that stuff. I guess that's why so much was left over. Somebody take some of this. Mm. No seasoning in this. Yeah, they thought since most of them was uh, from the mountains or the Caucasus, they weren't stressing the seasoning. Hmm, you thought wrong. Why you think they like us? Uh, why you think they like us cooking their food? Hmm. Put seasoning in it. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just telling the truth. Peekaboo. Got the Kool Aid in here. I'm revived now. I'm revived. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'm gonna ride. <sighs> no, I, I tell y'all anything, but. I'm debating on telling you how it is. I don't want nobody coming at me crazy in the comment. Mm -mm. Right there, YouTube name. Yeah, what it is what it mm -hmm. is. How's it work? This happened about a few days ago. I haven't did two videos since then. Well, I keep seeing the room number pop up. Anyway, I'll explain. How's it work, right? And <clears throat> I got this two top. Well, let me let me let me back up. See? I tell you this is how God teaches me lessons. Throughout the night, it was slow. I probably went on eight people that night. And this is a table that's made for two people. And about an hour into service, two people had sat there, but they were two dudes. And I looked at the host, I said, why you see two men in there? And they didn't look like, you know, hmm. I said, why you see two men in there? That table too intimate for two men. And she was like, what? And then I caught myself, I was like, well, you know, maybe they, Maybe they ain't a couple. Maybe they ain't relate in a relationship. But I didn't know. I couldn't really catch it. Could have been. I didn't know. But they, I made them laugh and they tipped me real good. So I don't care. But then I brought it up to somebody else and it was like, but no, somebody else caught it. Like a cook caught it. He said, because you can see the kitchen from the dining room. The dining room can see. The kitchen, no, and the, the cooks can see the kitchen. It's like an open kitchen. And uh, I forget the dude's name. He talked to me every day, and I forget his name. Hold on, I messed up. Anyway, he was like, "Man, why two, why two guys sitting there? Cause it's like an intimate table." I said, "I don't know, but they didn't look like it looked like truckers. It said they were just escaping." I said, "Oh, okay." So then again, they might have been together. I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, don't I said, I told the host she started tripping. I'm gonna use this whole world paper towel. I forgot to turn the ceiling fan on. The air conditioning on, this this little fan on, but I forgot to turn the ceiling fan on to circulate the air. That's why I sweat so much. Good Lord. I think I need to move this up. So, uh, that night. <laughs> I had another two top come in. And this taught me to just shut up. Forever. Dang, I don't want to use all my tartar sauce. 
I want to save one for the next go round. Here it goes, nothing. So they come in, and I'm like, oh, yeah. They together. It was two guys. But she didn't see them at that table. She sat them at the full time, just two, two, two places. I said, what are you doing? You know absolutely nothing about hosting. I can tell they're a couple. Yo, I'd rather sit, hit them sat there than them. But they're real nice. They remind me of a dude that I used to work with at the uh, at the place that I quit to do this YouTube thing. An Italian restaurant. They remind me of him. And uh, to the fullest, they wore glasses. They wore them little flower shirt. Uh, flower? We call them flower. Not flower like y'all think. Not not flower pink. It was flower. Just had flowers on them. They had just come from a retreat from the woods. We was laughing. So I had some good time. They had stayed somewhere where you had to use the bathroom upstairs and go down this pipe and sand. Uh, what's it called? It? Sand? We you saw something? Sawdust. Sawdust. They put that over the boo-boo. Because it was in the woods. There was no plumbing. But except man, It was man-made plumbing. Oh, it was our house plumbing. Anyway, I don't know about that. That's what they tell me. That's what made me remember. That's what made me remember. That's what reminded me of the conversations that we had. I guess I said that right. And, uh, and it kept saying it. <laughs> he kept saying it throughout the conversation. At one point, they said, uh, "Not that, but I'm finna tell you. I'm nervous. I don't really. I'm kind of like, mm, no, maybe I shouldn't, because I ain't got we got one time to call me whatever." He was like, "They drank a bottle of wine, and they was eating, and you know, we were having a real good time." But I said, "We, I'm talking about me too. We were laughing and cutting up. I could be doing worse things with my life. You hear me? I'm getting paid for it. What?" And uh, he said, "David." We need a ride home. Can you give us a ride? And his 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 partner said, "Silly, we only have a two seater." And then he said, "Well, uh, you drive, and David can sit on my lap." Hmm. Hmm. And I said, <laughs> and I walked away. I said, "All right, you got to do too much to drink now." And what did said before? I think they meant it for real. Mm, okay, so, um, and then I was going to talk every time I came to the table. I was going to stay away from it and they got desserts. Because they had other stuff to do. Not because they were in a relationship. I just had other stuff to do. Not because they were flirting real hard at me. For real. I went to the, right to the table, brought them the desserts. She said, Dave, uh, thanks for the desserts. Uh, and I brought them that check at the same time. And he said, and I was like, I have to say, like, what room are you staying in if it's charged on the room? So I could understand that writing, because if they have some regular writing, I won't be able to uh, talk to the room, because I can't read the writing. So I said, what room number is it? He said, why? Uh, you coming to give us, give us a visit? You coming to visit us? I say, in my head, I say, hell no. I'm just, uh, I need to know that number to uh, let the coroner know. Where to pick the bodies up from? <laughs> I ain't say that, but I wanted to, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't that serious. Yeah, kind of, kind of was, kind of was. I felt like I felt like a female waitress being hit on, uh, uh, just getting receiving unwanted advances, cause it got pretty serious. To make a long story short, I went back and I told my homeboy, I said, "Hey man, <laughs> this dude told my." Come to his room and I'm laughing it off. He like said, he said, boy, crap. He said, he's like, yeah, they, 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 they quite a couple. I said, yeah, they sure is. And I and I went back to the table to get a check and to give him a to-go box for something they had left over. And he had it filled out and he he took out some cash. <laughs> he said, is that enough? I said, yeah, that's enough. And he was like, uh, for you to come to our room later too? I say, hell no. <laughs> I say, I'm pretty much fine. <laughs> but I laughed it all, because they laughed it all. <laughs> and he said, but seriously, it's room 200. I said, well, right, damn. I don't know how to feel about this. I want to go home and bathe for about life. I want to go home and bathe for life. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't know. I ain't used to that. I'm used to women, older women, flirting with me. But I was uncomfortable. Mm -mm. 
Mm, I mean, you say, oh, like I say, I ain't got no problem with it. As long as you don't include me in it. I said, dang, all that. They, he was serious. He was serious. I, he was serious, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. Y'all have a good evening. Keep it 100 with your life. And that's what that's exactly what they're doing, too. They're keeping it 100. They kept everything professional. We'll come back and see you, David. Okay. Hope I have a girlfriend by then. And I hope she's bigger than y'all. So I can call her and tell her to come beat y'all up. I really did. I felt like, you know, in, in the movies, or it's like in real life. You see them servers, the women in pretty server, and women be hitting up. They did, they did everything. That's fake. They did everything but slap me on the ass. I'm sorry, but I said, whatever. They did everything. I thought they were joking, but now they, 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 they were pretty serious. What'd you call that? A very indecent proposal. I said, no. If it had been a million dollars, I would I would have took the money and left. What they, what they gonna do? <laughs> they can't call the police. I it's <laughs> lemma. Ain't no amount of money. Ain't no amount of money, boy. I wanna say so much, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm just saying. Keep me out of it. And they thought it was funny. My homeboy thought it was funny. <laughs> One other thing, don't be sending me anything that I block. I know I send certain people clips, the stuff I think funny, memes, videos online, but somebody sent me and these two uh, boys uh, wrestling in the, uh, I forget who sent it to me. I know who sent it to me, I ain't gonna say your name though, Negro. You, you, me, you, whoop, whoop. Wrestling in the locker room. And the captions say, it ain't good to fight when you got a boo-boo. And they started wrestling and fighting. And uh, while well, they was wrestling, <laughs> the dude that was filming said, somebody pooed it. <laughs> and then he was filming, he was filming and he said, I smell dookie. <laughs> Uh -huh. And then, then they were rattling, and he say, "Oh man, who boo boo? He boo booed on himself, and an old piece, of, a piece of boo boo fell out from under his shorts. That was gross. But I gotta go. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay kinfo. Bussin', bussin', <laughs> bussin'. You got to trust the Coke Zero. You know what I'm talking about? Bussin', bussin', bussin'." Bussin', say what up, Kimfo? Bussin', bussin', it is what it is.